Okay, I'll okay. right? the camera. I'll spin the camera. That's pretty heavy. Well, he just asked me what was this for. This is a Valor Award. I received this award for saving a girl who was kidnapped by her ex husband. I thought it was really cool to have him here just so we can learn more about like the people that work in our city. I chose medical life sciences because I want to be something in the medical field because I find it really interesting, all like medical stuff, because I want to be a surgeon. Yesterday, like you said, uh, we had a, a, an incident of a, sh of a shooting uh, down in Sao Holio. And uh, one kid got shot in the knee, I think the other kid got shot in the leg. But I think the kid that got shot in the leg hit one of the big arteries. So when the police department, uh, guess the officers that got there, the kid was like bleeding out. You know, so we, we carry these things, which is called the, the, the tournament uh, tourniquets. So the officer put this on, on, the, on, the, on the guy's leg. You just strap it in, and once you strap it in, you twist it. And he's gonna feel it getting tight. You know, I mean, it's too tight, but he's gonna feel it getting tight. And once we feel that, that the bleeding stop, we'll just clamp it in, and we'll, we'll, we'll leave it like that. And hopefully, uh, and somebody from the, uh, uh, then once I leave it on, I don't take it off. So somebody from the paramedic or, or somebody from there, they'll take it off. The idea is quite simple. You know, as we're offering kids an, uh, an opportunity to get an, uh, you know, can have a close-up view as to what future careers might be uh, might be available, and especially with the medical life sciences, those who are in today's instance, the first responders, those who will be there to apply that immediate first aid, to be that first first one to apply the CPR. You will see that where the wound is at, it'll stop bleeding. You know, whatever uh, medical initial medical treatment before. So by the idea of introducing all these people to it, by introducing these students to it all, it's just a way of trying to broaden their, broaden their horizons. Uh, we you know, just want to make sure kids see a variety of things so they don't only lock in on one. Let's say something happens when you're on your lunch break. What do you do? Like, do you just stop eating and then go? Well, sometimes if, uh, if Officer Cruz is a, is a nice guy that day, he knows that I'm on my lunch, he'll volunteer and I take that call for me so I can finish my lunch. But if it's a real emergency, obviously I'll, you know, I'll drop my lunch and, you know, if they need, they need help. But if it's a call in my, my neighborhood, and usually the dispatcher knows that I'm on lunch, well, they'll send like the next uh, car over. How much you guys make? Would you want to change how much you make? Because you guys risk your life a lot more than anybody else. I, think we're I like that question. I think we should get paid a lot more. Right? <laughs> Tell that to the, the, the city of Oluk and the chief of police. But uh, we, we, we get paid good money. I want to say like the starting starting pay right now for uh, uh, somebody coming out of the academy has got to be in the 50s, right? So 50,000 just to start. Maybe. maybe more, maybe more. Yeah, that's just to start off. So I mean, I mean uh, then if you, like you said, if you have your degrees, and if you like to work. Hey, maybe if, I, if I'm smart enough or maybe if I want to, I can go into really become a doctor. You try to open them up to life within Hoyok and beyond Hoyok. As we, as we try to instill in them the dream of what they can ultimately be.